For Dragon. One day, Dragon was finishing his breakfast of ice cream, peanut butter, and tomato juice. Dragon decided he'd enjoy a little company. So he went looking for his friends. And spotted Mail Mouse. Hello, Mail Mouse. Would you like to spend some time with me today? Asked Dragon. Oh, I wish I could, but I have all this mail to deliver. Said Mail Mouse. <sighs> Hidey ho, little blue dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Said Alligator. Dragon asked Alligator if he would like to spend some time together, but Alligator couldn't. Whoa, mm -mm. Oh, I have to practice my bongos, he said. Mm. So Dragon went to see what Beaver was up to. <laughs> Beaver was busily gnawing at a tree. <laughs> Dragon asked Beaver if he would like to spend some time with him today. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could, Dragon, but I've got this tree to chew down, yeah. Said Beaver. You could help, if you like. Chewing a tree wasn't quite what Dragon wanted to do today. Oh, I know. You have to mind your store, right? Figured Dragon. Huh? Ostrich wondered. Who told you? <sighs> Dragon had run out of friends to ask, but he really didn't feel like being alone today. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No. Oh, how about you? Said Dragon to a rock. Would you like to spend some time with me today? The rock didn't say anything, which Dragon decided meant yes. Great. We'll have lots of fun together, said Dragon happily. He had a new friend. A rocky start. None of Dragon's friends could spend time with him today because they were all too busy. But the rock Dragon found in his front yard seemed to have all the time in the world. We'll have lots of fun today, said Dragon to the rock. <laughs> oh, by the way, my name's Dragon, and I guess we'll call you, um, Rock. Rock didn't say a word, so it must have liked its new name. First, Dragon and Rock tried to play leapfrog. <laughs> Rock wasn't very good at leapfrog. Dragon and Rock played tag. But Rock wasn't very good at tag either. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Oh. There must be something Rock is good at. Then Dragon and Rock ran a three-legged race. Rock did a very good job of keeping up with Dragon. Uh, you're, you're much faster than you look. <laughs> when they were finished running, Dragon and Rock went for a little drive. Dragon pointed out interesting things for his friend to see.
Then Dragon and Rock watched clouds and wondered what they looked like. Ooh, I think that cloud looks like a rock, said Dragon. <laughs> Soon, it was late afternoon. Time for Dragon to go inside. <laughs> Dragon thanked Rock for all the fun they'd had together and then put Rock back on the ground. Mm. But they'd had so much fun today. Mm. Dragon couldn't bear to leave Rock outside alone. Would you like to come inside with me? Asked Dragon. Mm. Again, Rock did not say a word. So again, Dragon took that to mean yes. At home with Rock. Dragon took Rock inside and sat it by the fire. He told funny jokes to Rock. <laughs> Dragon showed Rock his favorite book. Dragon showed Rock all the exciting places he hoped to visit someday. He told spooky stories to Rock. Oh. Oh. You are a very good listener, said Dragon. He was starting to really like his new friend, Rock. Why don't you stay for dinner? Dragon fixed dinner. He mixed cookies, orange juice, and catsup all together in a big bowl. Dragon scooped some of the food onto his plate. <laughs> then he scooped some food onto Rock's plate. Just say when. Ooh. Rock did not say when, so Dragon scooped some more food onto Rock's plate. Rock still did not say when, so Dragon scooped the rest of the food onto Rock's plate. <laughs> I'm glad we both like to eat so much, said Dragon. We have a lot in common. <laughs> Dragon ate up all of his food. Rock did not eat any food at all. Dragon was still hungry. He looked at Rock's plate and drooled. Ooh. Um, do you mind if I eat some of your food? <laughs> Rock did not seem to mind. Dragon ate up all of Rock's food, too. You are a good friend. Good friends always share. <laughs> And Rock even helped with the dishes. Like a rock. Dragon was thinking about all the fun he'd had with his new friend, Rock. They'd played in the yard and told stories and had a wonderful dinner together. I can't wait to have more fun with you today, Rock, said Dragon. Dragon had a yummy breakfast. Rock didn't touch his. Dragon noticed Rock seemed a little quiet. Rock didn't really seem happy. Coochie coochie coo. Ooh. Dragon tried showing Rock his best yo-yo tricks. <laughs> Ooh. But Rock didn't seem very excited. Ooh. Dragon tried playing Guess What I Am. But Rock couldn't guess any of the answers. Dragon thought maybe Rock just needed some fresh air. 
cool. But even then, Rock didn't seem to perk up. Rock seemed sad. You miss your other friends, don't you, Rock? Asked Dragon. Rock did not say a word. So Dragon took that to mean yes. Well, thanks for spending time with me. Like Heidi Ho! And then Alligator arrived. Hey, little blue dude! Like, sorry I was busy yesterday, right? But I'm not busy today. <laughs> then Mail Mouse arrived. Hello! She delivered her mail extra early today so she could spend time with Dragon. <laughs> Pardon me. Look out! Hollered Ostrich. Oh, uh, easy, easy. Oh. <laughs> I closed the shop today. All wow. right. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and oh, even yeah. Beaver arrived. Okay. Well, you know what they say. All chewing and no play. Dragon was very happy. All his friends had come by. Oh, I hope you weren't too lonely yesterday, said Alligator. No, not at all, said Dragon. All right. <laughs> and Dragon knew Rock would always be there in the garden if he needed a friend. <laughs>